Next, let's add one switch to each of these columns. I drag a switch under the user interface of add components into the column tube switch like this. This switch was added above the image, right? Let's drag the switch from the box showing components down the image like this. Now, click the rename button in properties and rename this switch as switch tube light. From here, the value of the switch is set to false. Let's change the tint colors of this switch. The tint color of a switch is the color when the switch is in normal condition. In the case of this switch, the color when the switch is turned off. Also, the on tint color is the color of the switch when the switch is turned on. The code for the tint color is hash D0021D. Again, let's type the code hash 417505 for on tint color here. In this way, a switch under the user interface of add components is dragged into the column fan switch. Let's drag this switch down from the image in this way from the box showing components. Now, click the rename button in properties and rename this switch as switch fan. As before, let's set the value of the switch to false here. The code for the tint color is hash D0021B. Let's type the code hash 41750 here again for on tint color. Next, let's add the switch for column CFL switch. Drag the switch from the box showing components down the image like this. Click the rename button in properties here and rename this switch as switch CFL. As before, let's set the value of the switch to false here. The code for the tint color is hash D0021B. Again, the code hash 417505 for on tint color is typed here. It is necessary to add one label each to these columns. Labels need to be added down from the switch. First, I drag a label under the user interface of add components into the column tube switch like this. The label was added not where we wanted. Drag this label down from the switch tube light from the box showing components as before. Now, click the rename button here and rename this label as label tube. I type as label tube here. Type 0 for the text of the label and select white color as the text color from here. Let's add the label to the column fan switch again. In this way, the column fan is dragged into the switch. From the box showing components, drag this label down from the switch fan. Now, click the rename button here and rename this label as label fan. I type as label fan here. Type 0 for the text of the label and select white color as the text color from here. Next, I drag a label under the user interface of add components into the column CFL switch. Drag this label down from the switch CFL from the box showing components. As before, click the rename button here and rename this label as label CFL. I type as label CFL here. Type 0 for the text of the label and select white color as the text color from here. OK, now we have finished designing the second row, that is the row switch.